Our goal was to write, uh, we wanted to shorten our seating window, so we brought the SR in to see canola. It was hooked to the track, it's in the yard, and they told him, they said, said, Steve, please sit. So we ended up, two trellis of 12 inches, the stick to it is seated the whole crop side by side. Uh, and like they said, we're gonna have two of them next year, uh, seeding side by side or whatever, but Having two drills at first, it's one gives us a lot more options. Uh, we're going to send some corn for the first time uh, with it. Uh, the other thing is you can see two different crops the same day now in one. So it's going to change a lot for our operation. We're going to have to, every spring is different too. So we can now decide what we want to do every spring because we have all the different options. And well, it's, uh, you know, it was first market. I think guys were under the impression that they can just only plant their territory. So you supply to support it all up. But uh, no, after actually running it, operating units of 12 inch and harvesting, we get a full section, half to the 12 out and fit it. We work on the United and the League of we have where we're going. But you could tell it was a transition from the 12 to the 15 because the plant sounds there. The yield is the same. Our, our thing, the thing that I'll Sam beat this year from this one to that one. You can feel it caught by our car because it's plants were just a little bit big because they have to stand up. Yeah, you have to adapt to the robots, but that plant had to reinforce itself so it stand in the way in the wet. So, in the cereals, I would say it's actually an improvement. It is the, the kind of drill that you can use to the different side of your farm, but also the cereals are definitely bad to ground. And again, in the fungicide application, you can definitely cut back on that to see the health of your crop, the health of your soil. How much has the farm evolved over the last 30 years or over? We were all starting with a seven and a half in the space here, eight inch, and then it was a drastic jump to 10, and that's 12, and now, now we've got all of us up here taking the jump because they've gone to 15. And I guess the biggest argument that I hear on social media or anybody that wants to quiz me on it is that look at Europe or uh, look at some of these areas that. It's you to see it seven and a half inch losing and, uh, <clears throat> and look at the 200 bushel of the acre wheat that they grow with yada yada yada. At the end of the day here in Western Canada, we're dealing with 90 day harvest wind or a 90 day growing season. So uh, we do, it doesn't, that doesn't jive here. Like in Europe, you've got numerous frost free days and uh, way more moisture than what we get. So at the end of the day, we have to be a little bit more. Uh, more tools in our toolbox, and uh, and I guess that's where I stand on the 50 of spacing is that I can't afford to have multiple drills in the yard and do different little things. I have to retrofit this one to do my whole crop, and uh, I I wouldn't go back. I, maybe there is some lag on the cereal side, but like I said before, I have nothing to compare it to. Um, I have nothing to go side by side with, so we uh, fly with this, and uh, um, there's fills in here we see our crops the first year he um he sold it to us and i, I i've never grown coal like this before either. so um you i know the stars got a line on on the weather like every other year but uh, um the the crop you can grow with this thing is it's 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 got to be sold we'll see every canola that we're going to do we're going to do more wheat like this year last year we did some side by side at the bird roll and it was a 2.3 the difference, bushel difference, the curve row was a little bit higher than the, than the, the 15 inch. Uh, we were pretty dry last year. It was a good comparison because we were dry, but I'd like to see it in a normal year to put it again. And we will seek more cereals with it this year. Um, but yeah, I would say you can see, you can see everything with it. And it, it's going to come down to when uh, I want to get, when I want to be done and James by himself, um, he's a deep one machine himself. There's sometimes down in management to the end of the costs and labor costs and everything else. So if you can eat, you have all of one, it's going to save you money all the way around. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll kind of echo some of the other comments. Uh, Mint Rip takes all my money. I can't afford that. So, <laughs> so, uh, so uh, this one has to do the job on. Uh, <laughs> again, for the, this one has to do the job on, on all crops. I, I don't have a. Uh, Direct head to head on my on my farm. Uh, I got two brothers that are both CV with C uh, talk on a 12 inch spacing. We have land that we got up against each other all over 
and uh, City Police, they care a lot of those. And yeah, they could walk them and one built to next and have a look yourself. And, um, yeah, I, I really uh, don't think it's just a canola drill, although I haven't tried all crops with it yet. Uh,